Hey guys, it's the Dragon Lady again, bringing you yet another video. Uh, this one is about uh, all my other blades, so let's just get right into it. Uh, this one isn't really a blade, but I use this for um, self-defense if I really need to. It's um, police baton, um, collapsible. It's all metal. Let's see if you can see that. Fury tactical. Let's see. I can get a little bigger. Let's see. I'm not sure how long it is. I usually keep this in uh, my car with me. You can just pull up on this part. And it goes back down. Next. Um, I got my Gerber uh, hatchet. Use this quite a few times. It's not not too bad. Well, as you can definitely see I've used it quite a few times. A little chipping right there. Got to re uh, redo this right here. Use this a couple times. It's not bad. Not a bad little hatchet. Definitely got to sharpen it though. I can sharpen it. Next is my. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, wait a minute. There. There we go, SOG. So, my SOG um, tactical tomahawk. Um, Country Prepper um, did a review on this. If you guys want to go check out his uh, channel. Tell I've used this quite a few times. Not, I don't know. I guess I'm. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of the sheath. Um, I don't really like the buttons on the bottom all too well. But I mean, it does keep it nice and secure. But I don't know, I just wish they made a little bit better sheath for it. Okay. Um, and that's for my longer blades. Uh, Josh, if you're watching, you'll like this one. Um, this is, well, if you like my little Camillus that I had. This is my bigger one, Camillus Carnivore. Let's see if I get all that in the shot. This can come off. I got this at Walmart too, by the way. This is the updated version. There's another one uh, that has a camouflage handle right here, but I like this one a lot better. So see, it has a little belt loop right here. So I can um, put on my belt or stick on something. And that's actually what I did. I stuck this onto another pack of mine because of the little knife that came with it. So you can see that, Camillus. There you go. You know, decent little blade, pretty sharp. And then just clips back on into here. And as for the blade itself, there we go. Titanium bonded. Very nice blade. It's kind of heavy, but definitely gets the job done. Full tang all the way down. Oh, right there. Saw on the top. You can see right here. Nice sharp blade at the bottom. There's a hook right here. Then this part is broadened. And also, I don't know if you can see that right here. This part right here is kind of meant for um, digging. At least that's you know that's what it said on the package. I have done a little bit of digging with it. Uh, it's not too bad, but I do like this one. As you can see, I have used it some, and 
Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of the wood shaving still in there a little bit. Next one is the Gerber uh, Parang. Let's see if I can get a thing in the shot here. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Yep, there we go. It's not too bad. You can tell I've definitely used it a lot. Oh, kind of rusty. I should probably clean that up a little bit. Hmm. It's not too bad of a, you know, chopping down whatever that you need done. But the one I like using more for that is my Gerber Machete Junior. Pretty sharp. I've used this quite a bit to chop down um, you know, some branches, couple inch trees, kind of see a whole bunch of, um, you know, sawdust and crap in there. Blade's still pretty sharp. I love going to this one. This one's probably my favorite machete that I got. I like the sheath for it, too. It sticks in there really well. Well, all right, guys. That's uh, all of uh, the rest of my blades. So um, leave a comment down uh, down below if you like them or, um, you know, whatnot. And if you have any advice on how to um, get rid of some of that rust that I got on my Gerber, I would uh, greatly appreciate that also. Um, so like, share, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Dragon Lady out.